Hey guys, it's Sierra and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we are going to be diving back into the $10,000 challenge in 100 days because I've been getting a lot of comments, especially recently, about how to do it, how to get started, you know, your income, how it is a factor into the challenge. So I want to go through about 10 comments that I feel like is going to address the entire situation as a whole because even after making the reflection video after completing the challenge, this is my second time doing it. So I want to address these situations and issues with everybody so we can have a clear page on how to get this 10K. So let's get right into the video. The first comment, um, it reads, okay, so I understand what to do in order to get to the 10K, but am I just taking money out of my account and adding it to the envelopes? Or are y'all using the money from your jobs because I'm currently in school but not working right now? Help please. So for this comment specifically, I am in school and I'm working. So um, I feel like you definitely have to have a substantial income to complete this challenge because if you're not, you know, it is a pretty hefty amount of money if you really think about it. It is $100 a day as you go on because once you get closer to the end of the challenge, um, if you do it in complete order, the end of the days of the challenge, it's a pretty big amount that you have to put into the envelopes. So we'll get into why we can help that or how we can help that situation later on in this video. But you definitely have to have a substantial income. You have to have some kind of money coming in because how can you save money if you don't have money coming in, you know, flowing into your, as in your income. So yes, you know, you're in school right now. Congratulations. I hope you finish strong. But once you start getting a, you know, a, finan a stable um, financial income, then start this challenge. But right now, just lay low, do what you got to do in school and it'll pay off in the end. The next comment we have is how often are you supposed to put money in the envelope in order to reach your goal in 100 days? So if you want to reach 10K, the total exact amount is really 10,100. But if you want to reach 10K in 100 days, you have to be putting money in the envelope every day, every single day. Or if you uh, designate one day a week where you put in your seven envelopes, that amount of money into your envelopes, then that's fine too. So for me, on Thursdays, I fill up seven envelopes. That, that completes my week. And then the next Thursday, I do another seven. So that is every day I'm putting money into my envelopes. So definitely if you want to reach this goal in 100 days, you have to be putting money in seven days a week or, you know, designate one day a week to put it to fill up your seven envelopes. That's just how you do it. If you want to um, lengthen the challenge, you can do that as well. If you don't, if you don't think that you can put in money in your envelopes every day of the week, you can change it up. It's fine. This is just in 100 days. This is this challenge. And that's what I'm explaining how to get to your 10K in 100 days. The next comment is, I know that we put money in the envelope every day. Now, do you pull two envelopes random every two weeks or no? I don't really understand this question. Do you pull two envelopes random? every two weeks or no um okay i'm just gonna answer this the best that i think i can you can you know every two weeks so you know some people get paid every two weeks you can pull your envelopes randomly if you don't want to do it in order which i think i have felt works best if you don't want to do you know incrementally so if you start out you know with your one two three four you can pull maybe one day you'll get number five or one day you'll get number a hundred you just pull at random and then you just fill it up as you go or at the beginning mix them up you know um you can pull two envelopes whatever work this is what i'm saying for this challenge it's really whatever works best for you i'm not here to tell you what to do i'm telling you how to get to 10k in 100 days this is the challenge how to get there so if you can alter the challenge to whatever fits your financial you know situation whatever your income is you can alter it as however you want so that's definitely something that you can do. All right, so the next comment is, wait, 
I'm so confused. Where the heck, because I don't cut this. Do I get the $100 per day to start with? Again, um, sometimes I don't really know how to address these comments because I'm like, I mean, you really have to have the income coming in, which is why, you know, it's like everybody can do this challenge. But again, like I replied to the, the girl that was in school, you have to have income coming in. There's no way you can save $100 a day or do this $100 challenge if you are not having any type of income coming in. There's no possible way. You can't save money that you don't have. So if you don't have $100 a day that you can set aside, alter it. Maybe do $20 a day. You might, you won't get to 10K in 100 days, but it's still, you're saving something, you know? So like, it's still okay to start off small, maybe $10, 20, 50 lower it like make it work best for you so i just feel like you know don't be set on this challenge that like you you're discouraged because you don't have a hundred dollars to put in put in something even if it's five dollars who cares you're still saving money okay the next comment is is this on two people income or one you can do it on two people income that might be a little bit easier so you're each saving five thousand instead of um 10 like $10 10,000 per person so each day if you guys want to pull an envelope and you each you know split how much money is supposed to go in the envelope by half that works too um that's actually a good idea especially for you know a married couple or a relationship you know like you guys can save the 10k and put it towards something together or if you guys each want to do the the challenge separately you can do that as well so you can definitely do it on two people income it might make it a little bit easier i say go for it Okay, the next comment is, hello, I am new to your channel. So I put the money in the envelope each day, like once, put $2 in the envelope, $2 in one envelope, then day two, I put $4 in envelope two. Okay, yes, so after reading the comments, I figured out, and this is what I'm doing the second time around, I literally started doing this challenge again, and I numbered it one through, uh, one through 100, and I went and renumbered my envelopes because this makes so much more sense. So to get to 2K, for your envelope number one, you double the number you're supposed to put in. So if it's if it's envelope number one, that's one dollar, right? You times it by two. So then you put two dollars in number the the first. You put two dollars in envelope one. So instead of doing that, you can just number your envelopes two to two hundred and then go in two. So it'll be two, four, six, eight, ten, 10, all the way until you get to 200. And then the number that's on the envelope is the amount that you put in the envelope. That's way easier, I really feel like it. Um, but if you wanna keep it as one to 100 and then you just double the number that's on the, the, on the envelope, you put in that number, that's fine too. But I really feel like it makes better sense if you number it two, two to 100 and then number it by twos so two four six eight ten twelve two two hundred and then you just put in the exact number that's on the envelope into the envelope so i really feel like that makes more sense and it's easier to think about and i feel like that better explains the challenge so definitely because if you just do one through 100 and you only put one dollar and then the next day you put two dollars the next day you put three dollars you're only going to save up five thousand so you want to save up 5,000, do the one to 100. If you want to save up 10, either double that number or number your envelopes in increments from two to 100 by two. So yes, I really think that makes more sense. Okay, so the next comment is, so I basically have to go to the bank slash ATM almost every day to withdraw cash to put in my envelope. Not necessarily. So to squash the whole bank um, controversy, you don't have to go to the ATM every day. I explained in the last video, I'm a bartender, um, so I'm always having cash. So it's easier for me, you know, every Thursday, I fill up my envelopes with my cash that I have on hand. But if you don't have cash flowing all the time, you can set up a separate savings account and then every day you can still number your envelopes, randomly pull out an envelope and then transfer that 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 exact number that you you pulled from your envelope transfer into that savings account it's way easier if you don't uh deal with cash on a day-to-day -day basis instead of you going every day and pulling out money you just keep it in that account and then watch it increment you know exponentially grow over time so 
Don't just get discouraged because you don't have cash on hand all the time. Don't make those extra uh, trips to the bank, waste your gas. Just make that extra savings account and use that as your 10K challenge account. Point blank period. All right, the next comment is, so you just fill up one envelope a day for 100 days. So yes, um, you only have to fill up one envelope a day. And like I said in previous comments, or the previous comment that I went over, um, you can do as many as you want. If you wanna get it to it faster, you can fill up two. That's why I'm like, I'm stressing this a lot, a lot, a lot, can't say this <laughs> enough. Do what works best for you. I gave you guys the basis, do what works best for you. But in order to get to your 10K in 100 days, it's one envelope a day or pick one day throughout the week and then fill up your seven days for the week. That's in order to get to that 10K, that's what you have to do. So yes, you just fill up one envelope every single day. Okay, the next comment is, instead of envelopes, I just put it directly in my savings account through my phone, which is what I said earlier. Like you could definitely, you know, just put it through your savings account or like there's a app that generates a number for you. You can go to the app every day and you can just, you give it that, I'm gonna find the app, I have to find it. You give the app like between what numbers you want it to pull or generate and then you press random and then it'll pull up a number and then you can just transfer that into your savings account so you don't have to waste a whole bunch of envelopes if you wanna do that as well. So definitely take advantage of the savings account method, especially if you're not you know dealing with cash. I definitely think that'll work as well. So the last comment. Did it work? And this is, I get this comment all the time. Like all the time. Did it work? Is this a scam? Like, did, no, it's not a scam. It's literally a legit challenge. A lot of people are doing it. I've seen it on TikTok so many times, like the past month. Like it's crazy. Like everybody's doing it now. So yes, it works. I've done it once successfully. This is my second time doing it. I definitely think that you guys should try this challenge out. It's a quick way to make 10K in 100 days, if you're very disciplined and faithful to the challenge, you'll definitely reach it. Um, you just have to be very disciplined. Do not touch it. Do not touch it. Keep that money aside. And then do it again. Once you reach the goal, you're gonna be like, wow, that was so easy. You know, like going through it, it's a little bit, dang, I gotta put this much away. Don't go out as much to eat, you know, throughout the week. Stay home, don't do anything, get your 10K, and then do it over again. Like it's the best challenge to get, you know, to your financial freedom, invest that money, do something with it. You know, if you want to renovate something in your home, if you want to buy a car, if you want to purchase a house, it's a down payment for a house. Like it's, there's so much that you can do with this money. And I really feel like this challenge has made saving money very easy or easier especially if you're doing it with somebody, if you have like a partner that you can, you know, hold accountable, definitely try that out. I feel like you guys can do it together and part like here, this is where I'm at, this is where I'm at. Are you still going strong? You know, it's definitely easier if you have somebody there to hold you accountable. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I answered all your questions. If you have any more questions, please comment down below. I love hearing all of your, you know, victories and like people that come and say, I, I did this with my husband or I did this already. I'm doing it again. I love to hear that because I love this challenge. I'm so grateful to have, you know, elicited this information to you guys. So I really hope that it works for you. Don't forget to subscribe. You're already here. I love you guys so much. And I love that this video is helping everybody all across the world and like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you guys in the next video.